This piece is incredibly exciting because it's your entry into the Hundred Acre Wood. This is the first thing you see when you open the book. This map is on the end papers. Before you've read a word of the book, this is the visual guide. This is your opening to the world of Winnie the Pooh. The story is that Shepard sold the original drawings which he created for Winnie the Pooh and the House at Pooh Corner in the 1920s. At that point they went into private hands and they've surfaced at various times since then. We last sold the, the map in 1970 but since then it has been in a private collection. So it's very exciting to see it again, um, another time up at Sotheby's, but very exciting to see it again after almost 50 years. To look at these pieces, to see the originals in front of you, there's so much more in them than can ever be reproduced in the book. That's because the book was shrunk down slightly. These don't appear this size. So uh, one little detail which I noticed um, only a few days ago was we see Piglet standing outside Piglet's house. Piglet is obviously wearing a striped top. Well, he's not, when you look at it in the book, it just becomes this blob because the ink runs together and it's shrunk down. So there's, there's all sorts of details that you can see um, in the original that you don't see in the book. What you've got in the Pooh books is a brilliant combination of a writer absolutely at the top of his game. And what I think works particularly well in the books is the dialogue. Milne was known at the time as a dramatist. He made his money through writing plays, and that really comes across as these characters speak. So there's the wonderful, witty prose of A. A. Milne coupled to these fabulous, fabulous pictures by E. H. Shepard. So that combination is very special. 